Welcome. In this video, we are going to look at the tool Create React App, which is going to make our development a lot simpler. So when it comes to learning about Create React App, there are a few quick things we want to learn. We want to start off with what is Create React App. We want to look at the tools it includes. We need to learn how to set it up, which is pretty simple. And then we learn the relatively few commands that come with Create React App. And finally, we'll take a peek at how to work with other projects that use Create React App as well. What you're going to find, though, is overall, it's pretty simple to use. In fact, the tagline for Create React App is set up a modern web app by running one command. And that one command is npx create react app and then the name of a project folder. Now, you may not be familiar with npx, but you have used npm so far. What npx does is goes and it finds a module and then it executes that module, in this case, create React app, building a bunch of files and folders with it and then loading it all into the folder that you designate here of my project. So behind the scenes, when you run installing create React app, you're going to get all of the following tools. You'll get Webpack for bundling all the files and looking for file imports and exports. You'll get the Webpack dev server for running a local development environment. You'll get Babel for transpiling all of our JSX and other modern JavaScript into something older browsers can read. Along with that, we'll get a number of polyfills, ESLint for linting or error checking or helping format our code. And finally, the Jest React testing library for built-in testing out of the box. Now, we're not going to look at all of these in much depth. In fact, that's the great thing about Create React App. It doesn't even show you the configuration files for these by default. It just uses an opinionated default setting to set all of this up and hide it behind the scenes so we don't have to worry about it. That's why Create React App is so great. We get all of these powerful tools behind the scenes without having to look at them or configure them. So we're going to jump into the code now after this. And what we want to do is first look at how we could just create a project. Look at how we could just run that command and get comfortable with it to build up React projects. Then we have to look at how to actually start the project all up and get the development server up and running as well as look at the special build commands for production stuff and more minified stuff ready to ship. Then we have to look at the less used ejecting from Create React App when you finally do need to customize your stack and tools, and it will let you do that. But you can't go back into Create React App after the fact. So we'll look at that and talk about the context of when you might or probably won't need to use that. And then finally, I just want to give a quick mention to using other Create React App projects that you might come along and what to expect from those. So there we have it, a quick introduction to Create React App, which we can execute in one line to spin up a new React project with a bunch of tools behind the scenes and not need to worry about configuration. So we'll stop here for now. In the next video, we'll look at just how easy this is to get up and running.